us how to plan a girlfriend getaway. Who's not going to love the wine tasting, the uh, luxury spas, uh, the fancy dinners? Some great places to go with the gals, and they're all at affordable prices. So you can find some packages about 600 bucks uh, that are all inclusive with airfare. Coming up on Better. It's great getaways, the perfect vacation spots for groups of gals. It's a very safe location, so safety is number one as far as in Mexico. This is the number one safety spot that you'll find south of the border. Well, earlier we were talking about taking a trip, a possible journey to really get a fresh perspective on life. Well, the best way to let loose and hit the road is with your girlfriends, of course. Gabe Saglier, this is my girlfriend here yeah, on the okay. show. What am I doing here? <laughs> right. We hang out all the time with my girlfriends. It's a good thing. Gabe is the senior editor of Travel Zoo, the online guide to the world's best travel deals. Gabe has got some affordable girlfriend getaways that the ladies definitely want to get their hands on. There's a reason that, and you did the research for <laughs> well, us. Sure, I went to these places, lots of ladies there. I love it. Last uh, time we were talking about nail getting your nails done so yeah. this is the obvious next transition the theme right continues <laughs> obviously i think guys would love these destinations as well but okay. you know, i think they cater to uh female friends who just want a little bit of peace and relaxation a little bit, a little deviation from real uh everyday life hang and out, uh, right? hang out and reconnect and it has to be fun because every now and then with the girls traveling it can be yeah. a little drama so Definitely. you have to have fun surroundings there the first spot that you pointed out is uh, mexico's yucatan peninsula why do the women like this spot well this is a spot by the way where we'll see i think a lot of deals in 2011 11. There's a big image issue that Mexico is trying to overcome, and this is a focus because it's a very safe location. Mm -hmm. So safety is number one as far as in Mexico. This is the number one safety spot that you'll find south of the border. That's important to no matter who's traveling. Plus the all-inclusive aspect, the affordable luxury aspect, the R and R, the beaches, uh, just a lot of relaxation and reconnecting time. And of course, you can find very affordable packages, particularly on all-inclusive resorts where you pay once you get in the door, you put away the. The, you yeah. know, the wallet, the purse, Don't and then everything's anything. included, the cocktails, the food. We're through April's peak season, so okay. you can find some packages about 600 bucks uh, that are all-inclusive with airfare. The prices can drop 50% or more once wow. you get to summer and uh, uh, beyond. That's not bad. Save that for the drinks, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about California's central coast. Yes. This is between L.A. and San Francisco, a spot that a lot of people tend to overlook sometimes. Well, yeah, it's certainly overshadowed by wine country in Northern California, but the world-class wine coming out of places like Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo, mm -hmm. huge affordability compared to Northern California easily accessible from LA San Francisco and who's not gonna love the wine tasting this uh, luxury spas uh, the fancy dinners the, just the beautiful bucolic landscapes where you can just sort of sit with a picnic under a tree and, and, you got and have a little conversation Solvang the Danish village which celebrates by the way a hundred years this year Ooh. so a lot of festivities around that as well great breakfast in Solvang yeah. best waffles ever I just have <laughs> to throw skeevers. that in there too yeah. <laughs> exactly now we're gonna talk about Iceland why Iceland well What's you know Iceland thing? got on people's radar last year because of the volcano yeah. you know and it's, funnily enough after the ash settled tourism actually saw a bump in September of 2010 and now we're expecting tourism to jump 20% in Iceland now this is a great outdoor ghetto if you want to go with the girlfriends you can do the blue lagoon we can just lounge in this uh, in this uh, thermal uh, lava field purported to have healing properties uh, you can do a lot of uh, horseback riding a lot of natural escapes northern lights during the winter lots of uh, whale watching during the summer so again an outdoors getaway for the guys very different I, in traveling through March would be a good uh, deal. Low season is just only in winter months, but you know, as we get toward June, there's going to be added airfare service out of uh, the East Coast, thanks to Delta initiating service to uh, Iceland. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that that airfare competition will bring prices down, keep Iceland pretty affordable throughout the year. Now, another spot that can be very affordable and very fun, Vegas. Yeah. Now, aside from the fact that what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, why is this the spot for the well, girls this year? This is if you want to have 24 hours of fun, obviously the gaming, the shows, the shows are now, because of the competition, pretty deeply discounted almost as a standard thing you can get these high-end Cirque du Soleil shows magic shows that are pretty well discounted mm -hmm. the dining is high-end if you want to do a really fancy dinner this is where all the celeb chefs go to you know hang their name on the wall yeah, that's true. Uh, and the shopping the shopping is phenomenal okay if you want to get more information on all of these great girlfriend getaways you can go to our website bettertv.com we'll have a link there for you